Hello, my name is Jiup Kim. I'll be presenting Amicable Aid, perturbing images to improve classification performance. It is known that adversarial attacks can easily deceive deep neural networks. By adding a tiny perturbation to an image, we can fool an image classifier into misclassifying the altered image. For such an attack to be successful, the perturbation should deteriorate the model's ability to recognize the true label of the input image, while being inconspicuous enough to avoid detection. The question that motivated our work arises at this point. If it is possible to find a perturbation that can deteriorate classification performance, will it be also possible to find a perturbation that can improve classification performance? Surprisingly, we find that the answer is yes. By adding an imperceptible noise, it is possible to maximize the classification confidence of a correctly classified image. It is also possible to make a misclassified image to be correctly classified with maximum confidence. What's more interesting is that such improvements can also be achieved through adding a significant amount of perturbation, which completely destroys the original content. We call this phenomenon amicable aid, as an opposite concept to adversarial attack. The objective of performing the amicable aid can be formulated as the following optimization problem. This problem can be solved by adopting the formulations of gradient-based adversarial attack methods. For instance, using the idea of FGSM leads to the following solution. However, it is known that FGSM can be made more powerful using an iterative approach called IFGSM. Based on IFGSM, the following solution can be obtained, where n is the number of iterations. By controlling epsilon, it is possible to generate a perturbation that is imperceptible to human eyes with small epsilon, or generate a perceptible perturbation that destroys the original content with big epsilon. We call such methods as weak aid and strong aid, respectively. The following tables show the classification accuracies for the test images of Cypher 100 and the validation set of ImageNet before and after the application of weak and strong aids. It is observed that the aids significantly improved the classification performance, showing near-perfect or perfect classification accuracies and confidence scores. The mechanism of the amicable aid is explainable in the viewpoint of the underlying natural image manifold. It is known that when a correctly classified image is attacked with an adversarial noise, in other words, modified unnaturally, the image leaves the data manifold and goes beyond the decision boundary, like A becoming misclassified as D in the figure. Therefore, in a similar manner, when an amicable noise is added to A, the resulting image will also leave the data manifold. However, unlike the attacked image D, the perturbed image will stay inside the decision region as B and C in the figure, since the image was modified amicably. The difference between B and C is that strong-aided images like C will be located further away from the data manifold than weakly-aided images like B. This explanation is supported by this graph, which shows the average distance of the aided images from the manifold. It is clearly observed that the distance to the manifold increases with epsilon, which supports our explanation of the amicable aid. With basic definitions and mechanisms explained, we now extend the amicable aid to universal amicable aid. In adversarial attacks, it is possible to find an image agnostic perturbation that affects multiple images to make a given model misclassify them, which is known as the universal attack. Conversely, the objective of the universal amicable aid is to find an image agnostic perturbation that can aid multiple images to obtain correct classification results, which can be formulated as the following optimization problem. A simple solution to this problem is to use the average gradient over multiple images. However, this is expected to be a more challenging problem than the universal attack. In universal attacks and universal aids, Multiple images are moved by the same direction and amount through the obtained universal perturbation. One way to visualize this concept more simply is to imagine superimposed images, as illustrated in this figure. For universal aids, as the number of images or classes grows, it becomes increasingly challenging to keep or move the superimposed images within the intersection of decision regions, 
while the valid reason for a universal attack is much broader than that of a universal aid. So to overcome such a challenge with universal amicable aids, we make the decision boundary perpendicular to the data manifold. The primary challenge with universal aids is that correctly classified images cannot be moved by a great distance. By making the decision boundaries perpendicular to the data manifold, a large number of correctly classified images can leave the data manifold by a larger distance while they still remain inside their decision regions. To realize this, we adopt the data modification method from a previous study, which modifies the training dataset to contain noise in the normal direction of the data manifold, so the model learns decision boundaries perpendicular to the data manifold. To evaluate the effectiveness of the proposed method, we create three sets of images, labeled as correct, incorrect, and mix. The correct set contains 10,000 correctly classified images from the Cypher 100 test set, while the incorrect set contains 10,000 images that were originally misclassified. Therefore, the default accuracy for correct and incorrect sets is 100% and 0%, respectively. The mixed set is the combination of the correct and incorrect set, which has a default accuracy of 50%. Each of these sets is used to find the universal amicable perturbation, and the resulting perturbations were applied to themselves to evaluate their effectiveness. Four models were employed in the evaluation, namely Original, PCA500, PCA800, and PCA1000. The Original is just pure ResNet50 trained on Cypher 100, and the latter three are models trained on modified datasets where the numbers in the model names indicate the dimension of the PCA subspace of the modified dataset. The results show that the models trained with modified images exhibit higher accuracy than the original model, particularly for large values of epsilon, indicating that our method is effective in finding universal amicable perturbations. To sum up, we have presented the noble idea of amicable A that adds a perturbation to given data in order to improve classification performance. Our study indicates that both weak aid with imperceptible perturbations and strong aid with perceptible perturbations are feasible. And we have shown that it is possible to obtain high-quality universal amicable perturbations by controlling the geometry of the decision boundary during training. Our study presents the first study on the amicable aid and opens new research directions for which much work needs to be performed in the future. I look forward to the exciting possibilities that this new concept opens up for the field of machine learning. Thank you for joining me throughout this presentation.